gonna be late for my job interview. should I do about it? Duh! I want you to work on getting me a bigger room! Pronto! No! No! What gives? Um, hey, Mandy, we were just, uh, practicing for the Maliu skydiving team. Later. to our office immediately. <laughs> Whatever I'm accused of doing, I didn't do it! Unless it's something that makes me famous, then I definitely did do it. <laughs> we aren't here to accuse you of anything, Mandy. We'd like to offer you an opportunity. An opportunity to spy on Sam, Clover, and Alex. Because if you help us out by keeping an eye on them, we'd be willing to reward you. Uh, you mean, like, by giving me that totally rad penthouse suite the girls live in? Huh? Come through for us and it's yours. like that. Yeah, what a way to end a mission. Whatever, I'm just stoked to try out my new makeup. 10, 16 a.m. This is Monday reporting. The brunette is swabbing her ear. The redhead's tweezing her brows. And Blondie looks like she's getting ready for a much needed face fix. Say hello to clowny girls. A totally chic, just on the market makeup for men and women. <gasps> oh no! Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Yo! What's with all the steam? Hey! Where'd those lizards go? <gasps> I can't believe you whooped us again so soon, Jer. We barely had time to wash off the last mission. Oh. <clears throat> and P.S., you could have waited until you were done grooming yourself. I'm sorry, Spies. 
but I have a most curious assignment for you. It seems that a diplomat from France was to meet with a diplomat from China, and, well, it's probably best if I just show you. I assure you, it was anything but awesome, Alex. In fact, the Chinese diplomat was quite insulted. As a result, relations between the countries have become strained. Well, I can see why. That makeup is a major insult to good taste. I'm afraid it gets worse. A clown-faced fireman dumped buckets of confetti on a real fire in London. Which is why I'm sending you three to check it out right away. <gasps> And to help you in your endeavors, I give you the hair pick block pick, the Porto Lab 9000, a giant soap bubble balloon, high powered faux earring magnets, and a high velocity atomizer. Thanks, Jerry. You're quite welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my comb over while you investigate what happened to that diplomat. <laughs> to the diplomat lady with unicycle and the creepy clown face. Hmm. Uh, achoo! 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 Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a schedule to keep. Achoo! The hair pick lock pick should do the trick. Wow! Awesome! Way to work the gear, Clover. Okay, spies. Time to spread out and look for anything unusual. like the clown makeup we saw her wearing in the video. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Huh? No way! This is Clownique, the brand I just bought. Ooh, I think I'll borrow a little. No, Clover, don't do it! Whoa! Now that's what I call clown-tastic. What are you talking about, Alex? Uh... <gasps> uh... <gasps> My face! <laughs> Don't worry, Clover. We'll figure out what to do. <gasps> what are you doing in here? Oh, no. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, dear. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Real much. Come on. Let's get out of here. gonna do? I mean, I can't get captured looking this way! Now hang on! <laughs> ha! That'll teach him to laugh at me! When it comes to interns, you really put the fail in failure, Trent! Since you had a clever 
idea to make it up to me. And you got me the keys to the girls' penthouse. I'm willing to let it slide. You can leave now. Wait for me downstairs. <coughs> yes, Mandy. Try and wash the clown ink off. Uh. Hmm. Good idea. In the meantime, I'm gonna get gadgety. Oh. <gasps> According to the Portal Lab 9000, the makeup contains an incredibly rare luminescent seaweed found only in Japan. Weird. Hmm. But what are we supposed to do with that info? Um... Whoop has tracked a huge shipment of that exact type of seaweed to a location in Tokyo. Well then, I guess we know where our next stop should be. Are you kidding? As long as I'm Clover the Clown Face Girl, I'm never leaving this house again. <gasps> Except maybe to hit a giant shoe sale. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Girls, so glad I was able to catch you. Whoop has just received more reports of unexpected clown faces <gasps> popping up around the world. I'm afraid the situation has gotten quite serious. <laughs> Oh, my! Well, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Thanks, Jer. Like, I really needed a reminder that I have a giant mouth and a bright red nose. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jerry. We're on the case. All we need is for you to whoop us to Tokyo. Oh, no problem. I'll have you there in a jiffy. Huh? Here we go again! Your spy work might be a little off there, Sammy. Oh, that's okay. 
My tummy's rumbling for some grub anyway. Sorry, Alex. Your tummy will have to wait. OMG! That looks just like Clown Eek! Only one way to find out. <laughs> Either this is the weirdest sushi joint I've ever seen, or we've just stumbled onto a secret lair. I'm going with option number two. But it still doesn't explain why someone would be going to such great lengths to get people to wear clown makeup. Routine. A better question would be, what is all this clown stuff doing in your so-called restaurant? Silence! No, I'm not going to be silent, considering you're the one behind this nasty clown makeup on my face that won't come off. What's your deal, lady? I mean, besides wearing the most awesome wig I've ever seen. Oh! is Bozette Slapstick, and I am the world's greatest clown. If that's true, then how come we've never heard of you? Huh? Because sadly, clowns aren't as popular as they used to be with TV and movies and video games. People have found other ways to entertain themselves and don't care much about us anymore. No! <laughs> Which is why I've devised my special makeup to force them to appreciate us. But that's not true, Bozette. All sorts of people love clowns, especially kids. It's just evil clowns they have issues with. And speaking of evil, why would you turn a perfectly nice sushi joint into a sinister lair? I needed to put it somewhere. And this place has the Best California huh? rolls in town. <gasps> okay, enough clowning around. This lame old plan ends now. Unreal. Can you say viral internet hit? Ugh. As if this makeup didn't make me look goofy enough. My poor face can only take so much. I don't know, Clover. They say that facial massage is good for your skin. <sighs> so, you think you can take down a trained and experienced clown that easily, huh? Don't worry, Bozette. We'll make sure you never get away with this. Ugh. As soon as I get whosoever foot this is out of my ear. <laughs> oh, I will get away with it. Because the air in that box will only last a few more minutes. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to move to phase two of my plan. Accelerating the clownification of the Earth by spraying down the rest of the world with my makeup. <laughs> And with more and more people forced to appreciate clowns, we'll finally return to our former glory. <laughs> Penthouse, like. 
like immediately. Mende is moving on up. I can't believe she... Forget Mandy. We need to get out of this box before all the air is gone. What gadgets do we have left? Besides the high-powered faux earring magnets? Not much. Hmm. Wait, that can work. Alex, can you reach one of them? I think so. Uh. Then what? Hold the earring near where the crank is on the outside of the box. Then rub it in a circular motion so the magnet turns the crank. <laughs> But after that, I'm gonna have to reconsider. Good choice. Now let's find that clown lady and fix my face. Come on, spies, follow that clown car. <laughs> I so couldn't deal with a world full of clowns. Trust me, being one is no walk in the park either. Now let's get out of here so Jerry can find me a 
cure for clown faceitis. Okay, Deans, I have got that dirt. Not only are those girls international spies who jet set around the world, they also were tangling with a crazy clown lady in Japan who had a secret lair in the back of a sushi restaurant and a teeny tiny little car she drove around in. And she was trying to turn everyone in the entire world into clowns with her evil makeup and oh hey, what gives? <gasps> Wow, that's quite a story you came up with, Mandy. I especially like the clown makeup prop. Very amusing. But clearly, we'll have to find someone who takes our mission a little more seriously. Now we've got work to do. Show yourself out, please. But, but, it's all true! I did what you wanted! I earned that penthouse! The only thing you've earned is a place on our watch list. Remember, we'll be keeping our eyes on you. <laughs> So the world is back to normal. Whoop retrieved Bozette at the space station, and now Mandy's scheme has been thwarted. Spies one, bad guy zero. I just have one last request, Jer. 